What's up? It's Parker from Knox Holloway, and today I'm going to be talking about how we produced our song, The Reds. So the song started out with this palm-muted, arpeggiated guitar. Sounds like this. And that was really enough to, like, start to write to and get the ideas of the song for. So in the first chorus, we added a few sustain sounds, and they sound like this. And so that's a synth bass and then a synth pad and then this one vocal organ sound that sounds like this by itself. Honestly, what it is, is it's me singing very poorly by itself. It sounds like this. Yeah, really bad, right? <laughs> Hit that with some auto-tune and some vocal synth and that gets us to this. Kind of sounds like an organ. Thought it was cool. And then we added some drums that come in mostly in verse two. So there's this boomy kick that comes in. And then there's like a clap snare layered with this orchestra hit that's something you would hear on like a old hip hop record. And together those are the backbeat sounds. And then there's this warped tom drum sound. Sounds like this. And it was just an ordinary tom sample that I stretched and stretched to give it like some artifacts and some warpy sound. In verse two, uh, we came in with this electric piano halfway through just to give it some lift, and then it kind of stays consistent throughout the song. It's a really nice contour with the vocal melody as well. One step, one, two step, do I ever know where your egg Works together really nicely. Then when we get to chorus two, things start to open up a little bit more. This top bass comes in that's just a high-pass, distorted version of the lower synth bass that's been in. Sounds like this by itself. And then you combine it with the lower synth bass, and all together, it's a pretty big sound. So then in the chorus, there's these little noises that happen in the spaces. Um, and there's three main ones. So the first one, I just went into this very microphone. I just went, <sighs> it's a little exhale sound. It sounds like this. <sighs> and then there's this drum sound that happens in the second space. And that is like this three note tom sample. And then layered with this other boom noise sound I found that is actually the beginning of a keys sample. Sounds like this. For some reason, it starts with a drum type sound. So I cut all the keys out of that, obviously. And that just sounds like the boom that you hear in the song. Those two samples together give us that drag sound. And the other little noise that happens in the chorus is this ad lib fill thing. And that is, once again, auto-tune and vocal synth to give it this spooky, airy feeling. The other big thing that happens in chorus two is the electric guitar comes in. It's pretty disruptive. It sounds like this by itself. And all it is is my Telecaster run through a Marshall software emulator with some extra distortion on it. And then really what gives it its uniqueness is small space reverb pretty wet on there so it kind of puts it in the back but not enough to drown it out without that reverb sounds like this like pretty standard crunchy guitar but if you space it out with this small space reverb small room reverb sounds like this gives it like a just enough uh ghostliness i suppose so the bridge is the biggest part of the song. And we put in one of our favorite vocal effects that we like to use. It's called a formant shift. It doesn't change the pitch, but it sort of lowers the voice and gives it this pitch down feeling that you've certainly heard before. No way to find you, you'll be in the wild. And a lot of people formant shift with a plugin called Little Alter Boy. I like to do it right in auto-tune. There's a throat emulator length and I just turn it down. And uh, we did that on the lead vocal and the BGVs. It's a pretty cool stack that just is very like monstrous sounding almost. I know where to find you, you'll be in the wild. And then again. You'll be hiding there till love goes out of style. And then we did it in the harmonies too. I know where to find you, you'll be in the wild. Pretty cool. And that electric guitar in the bridge comes back and happens between the vocal phrases. So it's like. Electric guitar, vocal, electric guitar, vocal. It's kind of a cool trade off. I know where to find you, you'll be in the wild. And with everything in. You'll be out of there to love, cause I'm a star. I know where to find you. 
thought it was a cool call and response feeling. So there's another chorus after the bridge, and then the outro is a reprise of verse one, but with some different sounds and textures to give it a more ghostly feeling. The first one being a reverse reverb on the lead vocal, which by itself sounds like this, super ghostly. So the way you get that reverse reverb effect is by reversing the lead vocal, putting reverb on it, printing it with the reverb on, and then reversing that. So you get this sucking effect into every single syllable of the words. The other technique that happens in the outro is this reversed delay on the guitar. Sounds like this. And gets it fades in as it comes. And we did that with this plugin called Crystallizer that we threw on 100% wet and printed by itself and then moved it back to be in time with the guitar. So it's just this very like chaotic swirly feeling happening below the guitar. Sounds like this. It starts to fade in, you'll hear it get more chaotic. And the reason we did this in the outro, since it's the same as verse one, we want it to feel a little bit new and feel like there's not any closure in this song. Like you leave the song feeling chaotic. And that gets us to the end of the song. We hope you love the Reds. It's out now, streaming everywhere.